When my parents told me um, there was an opportunity at, um, that there was a drug that could help me um, make my eyesight better, um, I was pretty happy, surprised. Genetic diseases are very difficult to treat and often treatments are just symptomatic and to some extent you can sometimes treat to inhibit progression of disease. But that isn't what we're aiming for in this particular study. We are literally going to reverse the disease. Typically people with aniridia, because aniridia literally means absence of iris, um, are diagnosed very quickly. In our case it wasn't until her five month um, appointment with her pediatrician that she was diagnosed and uh, at that time um, actually I requested the doctor specifically to take a look at her eyes again because we were getting concerned. Aniridia patients uh, in er very early life usually have reasonably good vision but this vision gradually declines over the years and decades so that by the time uh, a child is a teenager they're already having problems reading and problems with with colors and problems with their field of vision when I sit at the f I have to sit at the front of the cl classroom to um, f so I can see the whiteboard when the teacher is drawing when I'm watching TV I'm pretty much a meter away from um, uh, from the TV, and uh, I sit on a chair, so it's not. I'm not sitting on the couch where my family sits. I sit on a chair. Uh, when Aiden's reading, he holds a book fairly close to his face. He's not one of those kids that will pick up a book and read, and I I really think it's because it's so tiring for him. Some of my friends um, like. They are, they say, Aiden, look over there, there's uh, something, but I can't see it. I'm like, sometimes they say, oh yeah, I can see it, but pretty much I can't, so it's a, that's a little hard to do, but so you just get over it. Um, it's, it's unknown when or to what extent aneritics will uh, lose some or all of their vision, but in an, uh, in an effort to be prepared for that eventuality. Um, we have her starting pre-braille work now. An injury to an aneritic eye is far more traumatic and potentially you know, more detrimental than it would be to your eyes or to mine. So the glasses, in addition to, in her case, having a little bit of correction, um, are primarily for protection. Protection from trauma, protection from UV. Um, we're also very careful about goggles that keep all the swimming pool water out and things of that nature. If, if, if something happened to my eyes, then, it, then my eyes would be very hurt. By the time an aniridia patient is in their 30s to 40s, that's a stage at which they usually attain legal blindness. And that is uh, a blindness such that you can't see the top letter on a standard uh, visual acuity chart. Can't read, can't drive a car, probably are finding it very difficult to get employment, uh, accident prone because of, because of their blindness. Aiden's condition never used to bother him, but as he's getting older, we are noticing comments that he makes um, about, oh, if I had better vision, then I could, you know, potentially do this. Aniridia is due to an abnormality in a gene called PAC6. And the type of abnormality that we're particularly interested in this study is called a stop mutation. And this is where there's an abnormality in the gene that causes a premature stop sign. So instead of making a full length protein from the, from the gene, you make a truncated protein, which from a functional point of view is virtually the same as having no protein at all. Atelurin was already being used for another uh, important childhood disease called Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. It has this ability to trick a cell into overriding a stop codon mutation as if it, it isn't there. So instead of making truncated protein or no protein at all, you make a uh, full length protein which is fully functional and can um, reverse the biochemical abnormality that was caused by the lack of this protein. I became aware of and got involved in uh, Aniridia Foundation International and they were holding a conference and I believe it was at that conference it may have been at the next one that I first met Dr. Gregory Evans and he was talking about research that he was doing um, in lab mice 
who apparently anatomically have eyes that are very similar to humans. Um, and he was describing the potential for the drug that he was working on. And his enthusiasm was infectious. And the results he was seeing seemed miraculous. Um, and as a parent, you know, it's very easy to get hooked by that and start thinking we found a cure. So, uh, you know, it was, I had to resist being tempted by that. So I got a call from um, Dr. Cheryl Gregory Evans that said, we've gotten approval to start this and we're going to be doing this on Thursdays. And are you available tomorrow? And we said, I said, yes, we are. And so, you know, it was a pretty emotional moment to be able to you know, to, to be offered a position in this trial after we've been waiting for years and hearing about the results. Um, so yeah, we turned around, went home, no snowboarding that day, and uh, got ready and came up here to University of BC the next day and... Um, so, well, we put it in water, water milk, or, or applesauce or whatever, and then, like, there's just some powder that you pour in and then you mix it up. We don't actually know if he's receiving the drug or the placebo. In year two of the trial, he will receive the drug, but right now we have no idea if it's uh, the drug or the placebo. Uh, but we have noticed a very slight improvement in his eyesight in that he typically sits really closely to the TV and we've noticed that he is pushing back a little bit or he's even sitting on the couch which he would never do although it's exciting um, we don't focus too much uh, on these incremental changes um, I don't want to give Aiden a sense of false hope uh, I don't want to have a sense of false hope we do explain to him the importance of him being part of this, uh, not just for him, but for others as well. You know, we always tell him that he's a pioneer in science. Uh, although we don't know if we're on the placebo or the medication, if her vision is maintaining and she's not f um, falling victim to any of those degenerative eye disorders that aniridia can bring on at a young age, um, then that's, that's good news. Now, if we... Uh, start to see some, some improvement in her acuity or in the structure of her eyes in the coming year or years, um, then, I mean, from my perspective, that will be miraculous. So. If you could compare it to something like a child being born without a hand, a congenital uh, lack of a hand. What we are thinking we're going to see in our clinical trial is that by ad adding a chemical, a simple chem chemical, we will see regrowth of that hand. Not just that the hand becomes useful, but per a perfect hand at the end of the treatment uh, regimen, which is unprecedented in medicine, certainly in medicine in the eye.